It was kind of a joke one day, like, well, we have all these vegan meat products we're making, we should open a vegan butcher shop. And, you know, everybody laughed and laughed and laughed. And it just like really shows that if you're super passionate about something, even if you have no idea how to do it, that you can. My name is Aubrey Walsh, and I own a vegan butcher shop in Minneapolis with my brother called the Herbivorous Butcher. We're basically a savory bakery. It's a, a mixture of different flours, from tapioca to chickpea to amaranth to wheat flour. And then you take a, a bunch of wet ingredients, juices, lentils, stuff like that, vegetables, and you put them together and you make a dough. There's just love that's put into it, and with, with every single item we make here, it's just, it's made by hand. You know, really all of our vegan butchers are artists because they make steak shapes, they make rib shapes, they make sausage shapes. Kale was in college and I asked him if he wanted to quit school and start this with me. We have the same morals and you know, really what we wanted to do was figure out how to help save the world with the few skills we had. <laughs> My main goal has always been to protect animals and I feel like a lot of the issues can be solved by just simple food choices. As kids, we grew up on Guam, and meals are so important. Any time you spend with your family is eating. And so that was something that was really important to us, to be able to like barbecue with our grandma. And I went back home to Guam uh, when I was 18, and my grandma said, oh, I'm making your favorite food. And I'm making ribs today. I'm like, oh, Nana, I don't eat meat anymore. She says, oh, OK, I'll make you chicken then. I'm like, oh, no, I don't eat chicken either. If she was still here, she'd be really excited because a lot of our recipes in the case are things that she taught us to make. For us, it all stems from family and caring for your family and wanting to be able to have the same traditions with your family and the same meals with your family. And then from there, it goes to like the earth that your family lives on. And, you know, our family's really far away. They're on Guam, but we want to be able to have them with us all the time. So we. We cook the same food, and we're able to talk about the same food, and it doesn't sound like a different story because we're still saying chicken, and they're still saying chicken, and all of a sudden you're not arguing about it. You're just eating the same thing. <laughs>